The House will be in order. Will Representative Gosar present himself in the well? By its adoption of House Resolution 789, the House has resolved that Representative Paul Gosar of Arizona be censured. Let's just leave it. It's never good when you're called to present yourself in the well of Congress. A powerful condemnation by Democrats today for Republican Congressman Paul Gosar of Arizona. As we mentioned, he's been unapologetic about that animated video depicting him killing AOC and attacking the president of the United States. Disguising death threats against a member of Congress and a president of the United States is an an, in an animated video does not make those death threats any less real or less serious. And indeed, conveying them this way makes them potentially more dangerous by normalizing violence. What is so hard, what is so hard about saying that this is wrong? This is not about me. This is not about Representative Gosar. But this is about what we are willing to accept. Let's talk about this day with our friends tonight. Eugene Robinson, Pulitzer Prize winning columnist for The Washington Post and Mike Murphy, veteran Republican strategist, co-director of the Center for the Political Future. He maintains there is one at the University of Southern California. He's also co-host of the Hacks on Tap podcast. Guys, welcome to you both. It's great to have you. Uh, Mike Murphy, we're going to do multiple choice tonight. So two Republicans cross over to vote for censure for a man so unapologetic and unreal remorseful that he goes ahead and retweets the offending video after the vote. Is that A, a pathetic showing by the Republican Party, or B, should it be celebrated as a profile and courage by two Republicans? Huh. I'm tempted to say, uh, well, C, all of the above. I mean, I'm proud of the two people who <laughs> voted to censor him. I mean, you know, I I don't know. I've hit a little outrage fatigue myself, but he should have been censored. He's got an IQ in the 30s. He's a moron. He took a Japanese sword fighting cartoon and plastered some heads on it. So, you know, I don't think there was a murder plot against any Democrats here. Uh, they were they were kind of really climbing the walls. But the fundamental issue is it was violence. And we're at a time in our politics where democratic norms are under attack. So you ought to have a hair trigger. The fact is, Gosar's had a whole career of stupid uh, things like this, including sketchy views on the January 6th insurrection. So, yeah, I wish 100 Republicans voted to censor him. He richly deserved it. But I'd like to move on now uh, and not have the fundraising outrage machine on both sides crank up and just treat this thing cynically. You know, appropriate. Vote, I would but, only add. Uh, I, I would only add. Let's not let's not paint with a broad brush. An IQ of thirty has stood <laughs> some of us very well in life. Uh, Eugene, I'm going to play some of what we heard from the Republicans in the House for your entertainment pleasure. We'll discuss on the other side. If I must join Alexander Hamilton, the first person attempted to be censored by this House, so be it. It is done. What are they doing today? Censoring a member for a cartoon. You got to be kidding me. When there was violence against us, there was no condemnation. Today, we're critiquing Paul Gosar's anime. Next week, we might be indicting the Wile E. Coyote for, uh, for an explosive ordinance against the Roadrunner. Boy, that Gates can deliver a line, Candy. So, Eugene, uh, multiple choice for you. Worrisome or typical? Typical. Typical. I mean, this is where the Republican Party is right now. And I hate to burst Mike's bubble, but the outrage fund fundraising machine uh, is certainly already in high gear, Mike, as you well know. I mean, that's that's politics right now. Um, but the other thing politics right now, unfortunately, is, is uh, you know, charged with um, uh, this real and potential violence. Uh, and so it was a genuine uh, outrage um, uh, and, um, and a 
atrocity that 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 Gozar committed with that. He knew what he was doing. I, I mean, I think even with his with his IQ of thirty, he knew exactly what he was doing. He did it again. Uh, and he meant it, and uh, he richly deserved the censure. Uh, and you know, it's his his career of of idiocy uh, goes way back to his birtherism, which is what what got him uh, to Congress in the first place. So. Um, uh, this was a this was a day when the House upheld um, a, a norm uh, that must be upheld, uh, and I, I, I was proud of what the House did today. And as Mike does, I wish more Republicans uh, had joined in in supporting the institution because it's important. Yeah, on that note, exactly. I have to I'm say, ask these, the, uh, go ahead, Mike. I got to get a break, but go ahead. No, after the Hamilton line, I'm marking them down to 22 on the IQ scale. I hadn't heard that sound. <laughs> I'm taking them down. My here. favorite was my Preparing favorite was the to references to Doctor Gosar, as if to prove a medical school mm -hmm. had uh, agreed to admit him somewhere in our country once upon a time. <laughs>